century, Shanghai isn't far behind. In a city of 17 million people, the traffic and the horn blowing never stop. Each day, the landscape of Shanghai is altered a little more, whole city blocks. There's never-ending noise, dust, and cars. Within a 10-year period, the number of passenger vehicles in Shanghai has tripled, and the number of traffic accidents has increased dramatically. Traffic police officer Xuan Hua Hu is in the middle of one of Shanghai's most perilous intersections. Even though I'm afraid, I still have to give direction. In order to keep the traffic moving and for the benefit of the people, we should give our utmost. With a billion people itching to drive, China is teaching everyone the rules of the road, beginning with kids. And for Shanghai cops, it helps get the lesson across if you know how to dance. When the kids are old enough, they'll be taking mandatory driving lessons. Driving schools are flourishing in Shanghai. The first thing instructors do is help new students conquer their fear. Li Haiqin has her own technique. They get frightened when they see other cars. I let them learn slowly. This is Zhang Yu's second time around. I tried to pass the, the second test because I failed the, the, the first one. Why did you fail? Uh, it's unlucky. I don't want to say more. <laughs> so Zhang Yu sets out to conquer the training course. Starting on a hill is not so difficult for him. But then there's turning a corner. It's not that hard, especially with Li Haiqin sitting next to you. Only 12 more weeks of this, and Zhang Yu will be ready for his test. When he gets his license, he could end up like young people around the world, seduced by speed. Take Zhao Zhong. He sells aftermarket performance parts by day, a perfect job for a gearhead with a hot car. By night, He's known as the second ring road racer. His record is yet to be beaten. To Zhao Zhong, racing on Beijing's ring roads is an illegal, high-risk thrill. But to the people building the new roads, it's hard work. There are over 14,000 kilometers of roads in Beijing. More are built each week. 50-year-old Chen Tiapao is one of the workers. His wife and four kids are back home in Hunan province, southwest of Beijing. I'm the electrician. And how much do I make a month? 50 yuan a day. That's about a thousand a month. That's around $125 US a month. A day's work ends at sundown. Then Chen Tiapao leaves for his quarters. It's a barn of a place right on site. Sleeping is 24 to a room. <laughs> 